This one's gonna be a hard one. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Steps Basic, and welcome back to my community show. Sounds so fancy. Anyway, so, for those of you who don't know uh, about this series, it's called Explain Yourself, where I take some of the things that I like or enjoy, and I try to explain why, because in some cases it's easy, because, you know, it's a, it's an idolization sort of thing, like last time I did uh, Captain America, and I really like Captain America, because he stands for all the right things, as it were, and not just, as it were, America, even though he is Captain America, as I explained in that video, he, uh, doesn't necessarily always stick to America because, you know, he does the right thing at the right time, and that's what's important. But today's episode is one that is going to confuse some people because I am quite possibly the only person in the world with this opinion. Now, granted, admittedly, I understand that part of the problem with this is that the Internet exists. <laughs> and... If the internet says it's bad, then you must not like it. And in this case, it becomes a bit more difficult because I like the Green Lantern movie. Yes, I like the Green Lantern movie. And even the creators of the Green Lantern movie do not like the Green Lantern movie, which makes this a little bit more difficult. Now, first of all, I like it because, first of all... <laughs> The easiest part to explain for why I like it comes from the fact that they're the Green Lanterns. Now, I have never once in my entirety of liking comic book stuff ever said that any Green Lantern is my favorite character. I have switched favorite characters from the DC Universe a few times, from The Flash to Wonder Woman. At one point, I even liked Superman. Uh, but I have never once said a single Green Lantern is my favorite but the Lantern Corps in and of itself is one of my favorite concepts. And not just the Green Lantern Corps, but, you know, the red, the yellow, uh, or I should say, the, yeah, the red, the yellow, the orange, the blue, and the purple, and the pink are all, like, it's, it's an, a really interesting concept to me. And the idea of the Green Lantern, you know, powered by willpower, and those with the strongest will will be the more powerful, it's just, it's an intriguing idea. And, uh, of course, you know, there are more Lantern folks than I've mentioned. Um, going into that would be a, a video in and of itself. Maybe one day I will cover all of the different Lanterns. That might be an interesting topic. Uh, white and black being my particular favorites. And that's not important. But the, the, the concept of the Lantern Corps, you know, a, a, a power derived solely from your emotions a la the Hulk, you know, his anger and whatnot, he'd be a perfect example for a, uh, a Red Lantern. <laughs> he'd, be a great, he'd be a great recruit for the Red Lantern because as he gets more angry, he gets more strong. Angrier, stronger, you know, those things. So that's the first reason why I liked it. The second reason why, why is, I mean, it's got Ryan Reynolds in it. Even if he doesn't like the movie, he was good in the movie. I didn't like that it felt like they squashed two to three movies into one movie. Now, I feel like in that aspect, it could have been stretched out into three movies instead of just focusing on the one, and it would have been significantly better. But each it, it hit each of the marks pretty effectively, i.e. the introduction to the Lantern Corps the introduction of the opposing lanterns, the yellow lanterns, and then, of course, Parthenax, the big bad guy. What I think would have been better would have been introduction to the Lantern Corps being a single movie, i.e. Hal gets his ring, and he gets to go train on Oa, and, you know, then all of a sudden, oh, there's a yellow lantern back on Earth, we need you to go take care of this, bye-bye, sort of thing, instead of him deucing out and being like, I got this, rah. Y'all are stupid. I'm going away. Because of the fact that that part was rushed, the Sinistro reveal at the end kind of didn't have the the effect that it should have had. And as such, you know, you didn't feel very... You didn't feel very portrayed, as it were. Of course, that's a negative to it. But the positive, the reason why I still like it, is because I could see what they were going for, and I could 
easily fix it in my mind. When it comes to a bad movie, if I can't fix it in my mind, I don't like it. <laughs> but if it's a bad movie that I can fix in my mind, then I'm okay with it. Now, of course, I will go on to say that even though I like this movie, I didn't love this movie. <laughs> and the, the, the negatives about it do affect that. Like the fact that they squished three storylines into one movie really affected that. So while I can like it for what it is, I can't love it because even though I liked the, 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 the idea and the, the powers of the Green Lanterns, it was dwarfed in aspect to that. One thing I really liked about it, one thing I really liked about the movie was that it did showcase the powers pretty effectively and, and show that it doesn't matter how new you are to a Green Lantern ring if you have a really strong willpower, you can be the most powerful like that. And that's a rambly thought that has absolutely nothing to do with the movie. Anyway, back to the movie. <laughs> well, I wasn't a fan of a lot of the characters in the movie, specifically the bad guy, the, the nerdy guy who went all bleh, and the Amanda Waller portrayal. Uh, I think that the actors who played them portrayed them pretty well. And, you know, like, Amanda Waller dies in the movie, so it's like, that kind of messes things up, because Amanda Waller is supposed to be kind of big and bad and scary and, like, ominous sort of character, but you're going to kill her like that. <laughs> but, you know, even though I didn't like that that happened, I think that the lady who played Amanda Waller was pretty good, and I think that the guy who played um, Bulbous Head Yellow Guy can't remember names i'm suck at it i'm sorry <laughs> the only person whose name i remember is hal and uh but yeah apart from all that is like i feel like the care that the actors who portrayed them portrayed them well given what they were given and uh like i said i can repair a movie in my mind and if i can repair a movie in my mind that means i can probably like it of course that's not a blanket statement i should cover that that some movies that i i could fix in my mind i still didn't like because it's a funny thing, you know, I'm a writer, and I've said this a million times on this channel. <laughs> but anyway, um, back to the movie. Uh, so overall, like I said, I, I like Green Lanterns. I like the idea of the lanterns and everything. And I liked that what they were setting into motion with the Green Lantern movie Unfortunately, it fell apart because they didn't have any sequels. But like I said, this should have been like two to three movies long. And uh, as such, I liked what they were setting in motion, but it, it unfortunately, due to bad publication, ended up messing up the messing up any potential, you know, sequels. Hopefully, now that we've got a semi decent um, DCEU, we might actually see a better rendition of the Green Lanterns, which in a way is another thing I like about the movie because while it was not perfect and it was enjoyable to watch, for me anyway, it opened the door to possible things, a, a better possibility, a better future for the series. Of course, the suit. I cannot, even me, the only one person in the world who liked this movie, even I can't say I like the suit. I've seen better. Like, even, even the idea of using CG to make the suit was not that bad of an idea. But they should have done a mixture of practical and computer graphics for that one. Practical effects and whatnot. Because the idea of... of having a constant green suit on just i don't know just it seems dumb oh no <laughs> but even still i liked the design for it while it failed spectacularly in the computer graphics area it was actually a fairly decent design and i really liked it in that aspect going to parthenax himself now like i said this should have been a should have been two to three movies long. This one would have been like at the end of the second movie or, you know, the buildup in to the end of the third movie where, you know, Parthenax comes and starts killing everybody on earth. It's like, okay, cool. And that's when Sinistro is like, Oh, I see this superpower. And it's like, 
if that would have been the end of the second movie, then Sinistro coming to power would have been much more of a blow because you would have gotten to know him more throughout the first and the second movies. And then in the third movie, he betrays everybody, and you're like, oh, no. Why would you do this? And then the third movie could be Sinistro's story, and that could have been an interesting little play. Eh. But, you know, missed opportunities and whatnot. They happen. Um, yeah. So I think that, that perfectly sums up why I like this movie. Uh, so good premise, i.e. the Green Lanterns. I like them. Uh, good costume design, even if the execution was bad, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, decent story, but way too rushed. Uh, characters, while well, wishy-washy, the actors did a phenomenal job. And, uh, yeah, overall set up a, uh, a set up for... If not a sequel, then definitely set the groundwork for a remake or a remaster uh, to make it, you know, a more acceptable movie. So that's why I like the Green Lantern movie. And I know I am probably, like I said, the only person in the world who has that opinion. I liked the Green Lantern movie. And I don't let people really affect my opinion on things very much, especially not anymore since I missed out on a couple of things and almost missed out on something I really would have enjoyed because of other people's opinions. But don't let my opinion affect your opinion anymore. If you liked it, good for you, and I'm, I'm glad that I'm not the only one. <laughs> if you didn't like it, you're allowed to continue not liking it. But apart from all that, let me know whether or not you liked the movie. Uh, if you didn't like the movie, if there's a movie that you like that other people don't like, because I know there's things like that that exist. And uh, yeah, all that being said, that's it for my video today. My announcements are um, finished Borderlands 2, started Borderlands pre-sequel. I'm working through that. I'm going to play a little bit in my off time uh, to gather all the common level weapons, which you know is the quest that I ended up on. And I want to stockpile that so I can, you know, not have to waste all my time in video searching for the common level weapons. Uh, but apart from that, I was sick this week, so it was a slow content thing. Um, I'm still kind of iffy on that, like whether or not I feel good. I feel better at least, which is important. But hopefully that means next week will be better. But apart from all that, that's going to be it for me for today. Thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of The Community Show. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, please go and poke that like button for me. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, you're more than welcome to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And when I can, if I can, you know all that jazz. And tune in next time. We're going to talk about another topic at another time. And until then, good night.